now we have a little live performance. Yeah. Thank you, performance. In my poor Darius asked me what this paint is about. I'm just to give you a little talk, okay? Okay. Yes. Go, 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 come. go have a look. You want me to get out? No, come. Can I sit next to you? Yeah, this gives you the idea. Where is the thing? Can we continue waiting? No, no. <laughs> no. I'm going to get in a flight. Adam and I arrived uh, here. Gave me a beautiful to, uh, gift. He gave that to me. Which I found in a flea market in Hungary, in Budapest. Oh, that's nice. It, it's, it's, it's because Dave, Dave and I uh, used to collect monkeys in New York, and um, my monkey collection disappeared. A monkey. Oh. Next year is the year of monkeys. Yeah, thank God. You are <laughs> my year. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, it's my year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, the reason for the monkeys was my first performance at the Academia de Venezia. It's in Italian, it's called La Silvia Pellegrina, you know, and it's uh, the pilgrim monkey. And it was, uh, Emilio Vedova really loved the story of a monkey. And then, because it was the story that my father told me about Darwin, you know, the evolution of the species. My mother and father, the civil, were had a very good marriage because my mother was a very passionate Catholic. My father was a very passionate anti-religion. He was for, he was for science. He introduced us to all kinds of religious ideas. I mean, sort of scientific ideas, and my mother the opposite. But they agreed to disagree. So it was a very nice marriage. You know, they never they never really fought. They my mother would come and bring me to the church, and the, uh, the Franciscan priest would give us images of Jotos, uh, life of San Francisco. Then when we had uh, merienda with my father, he would give us Darwin's, uh, you know, um, Voyage of the Beagle, or a little book about Einstein and everything. So I told that to Adam because of the monkey. <laughs> then I then tell you, this painting is just the beginning. I began just as when I arrived, right before Christmas. And it will be in three, I always have at the minimum of three layers. This is the first layer. It starts changing. So here is a homage to the sciences. Over here will be a light bulb. It says James Clark Maxwell and Michael Faraday invented the light bulb, so it lit, lit up the world. Yeah. Then these are done not in any sequence, but there's the sun, and then the light. This will be very white light. At the moment, the underpaint is yellow. And it was Archimedes who said Eureka, he found a way to fight the Roman uh, conquerors. He, he, he had a big mirror, and the mirror traversed the light and upset this Roman uh, navy. And here is a, a drawing, a, a, base of, a lot of drawings that Leonardo da Vinci made of helicopters by blowing the bladder of pigs. See? So they're blown bladders, and he, he and this, this, not, this gives you an idea what all what what science can inspire you, and this is going to be the uh, uh, Sputnik, which is which just went into outer space, and this I think everybody's familiar. It's Einstein's theory of relativity, E equals M C two, and here are two uh, because Adam said I like to have some blue birds, and there's the monkey that's beginning there, the monkey, the three birds. And Adam and uh, Daniel and me flying up there. There's more birds because in the Galapagos Island, Darwin observed that birds were very different. And they're making three different types of birds, not really the Galapagos birds, and they're carrying the uh, DNA, mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. flying yeah. into space. And so this, uh, then um, there's going to be a drawing of Einstein sticking out his tongue. Like that. It's in the, at the beginning. And here is an apple. Oh, we lost the apple. The apple was flying from outer space and hit uh, Isaac Newton in the head. 
see. <laughs> and this is, of course, going to be uh, prismatic studies because Newton uh, argued with, uh, Goethe argued with Newton's idea of light. You know, Newton said it's a prism like in a rainbow, but uh, Goethe said no, it's light, it's just three primary colors, which is of course taken up by people like Mondrian, red, yellow, and blue, the primaries. That's the Goethe's idea. Goethe, see, we don't know which is the correct one because color is a mirage, you know. It's a, our spectrum, our analysis is so long. And this finally here is a yellow wrinkle P, Johann Gregor Mendel, mm -hmm. we uh, uh, discovered the elements. And there you go. Congratulations. That's not the things, but many things. <laughs> the, the, so I think that's one of the few things that we are today. We had to recover how the great Renaissance artists could put something and it has real meaning. Just recently, uh, because um, I, I, I did something in, in, in Florence at the Academia di Bellia. With so Vittorio or no? No, that, but I was l looking again at Florentine art. I'm not an admirer of art, I'm an admirer of Venetian art. Because Giorgio Vasari believed that line, line is important, whereas Tiziano was the tonality. And I prefer to So I said, I better look at the uh, Florentine art again. So I found the book. And there's a beautiful one of the, uh, the Primavera of, of, uh, of, of Botticelli. And it's a beautiful analysis by somebody who is a, probably a poet. He said, you know, when you look at this painting of Botticelli, it is about the, the breeze, la brisa. You know, mm -hmm. the, 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 the somebody's coming at Primavera, at the beginning of priest. And this painting is, is like a scroll, like a Chinese scroll. I said, that's so strange because somebody's coming in at one end and then blue blowing. And there's another guy rushing this way. This is Hermes, Mercurio. But if you take it around, it's actually the breeze. If you roll it, I just, I'm, I was so amazed. I mean, you know, that is the that made this painting, La Brisa, the air, you know? That is great art. It's not because it's pretty, it's, it's used by Coco Chanel, to so it's very, it is, it's such a beautiful, I said, well, I have to go, but next time I go to Florence, I must go to the Uffizio, you know? because that's one thing, and that's very true, you know, that we should realize that all art is really interrelated that way yes, but in, and to create new art again and again and again and again. Okay. But this is a nice, you, you told mm -hmm. the new generation, but because the new generation of artists, they are so loose that they don't read more? Because oh, no, no. Read. The best artists are well. I mean, like Ligia Clark was very intelligent. But she's no young artist. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking the people now, they are 20, oh, no, that's, 25. That Dan, Daniel and Adam, they have uh, always... Daniel is, all, is, yeah, every, is I mean, already he is, 30. He's he is, a old man. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The, the, the difficulty is most people... There's always a problem with language. He's actually working on language. And um, I'm, I'm different. I'm working on images because when I did the thing in, uh, in in Staten Island last year, it amazed everybody. It was about mirage, you know, because the rainbow is a mirage, but it's a curious relationship. This is where scientific training from my father was very good for me. It says that the rainbow is a mirage, but it is made out of sunlight and rain, two opposite things. You know, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. We have a rainy season, we have a summer season, so, but when they get together, you can have to have a look, even if there's no rainbow, you can create a rainbow. And I said, that's very interesting, the Arco Bolena, the Arco Bolena. And then it's a simple, like water, is hydrogen and oxygen, and they're both inflammable. I mean, you know, we get two inflammable substances, but you join them together, they're water. And then, in, my father was quite a Marxist too, he said, he said uh, the thing he liked is about paradox. He said in Greek culture, everything is paradox. If you have one uh, grain of sand, it's just a grain of sand. When you have a lot, it's, an, it's, it's a desert. 
and you have one drop of water, it's just a drop of water, when you have a lot, you can drink it, when you have even more, you have the sea, mm -hmm. but it's still water. Mm -hmm. I said, well, that's interesting. I said, well, 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 wonderful, and then my mother would say, enough already, let's go and say, Pray, pray to something, <laughs> just gonna assist him. <laughs> Make sure that we are not getting confused. No, about so well, much complexity. No, no, I like both, you know, because the problem with us is we had we threw away, you oh. know, what religion did here, you know. It's a mirage religion, mm -hmm. but you know, the idea of angels and you know, you know, people but they're nice. Too. Yeah, very nice. Yes. And, and the Catalan art is yeah. beautiful. I was so inspired by the Jesus Christ going out yeah. like that. You know. But we lost that, so we can't recover it. Because the Catholic Church in the Philippines tried to recover it, but it's very kitschy, you know. And, 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 and Baudelaire actually uh, criticized that, because in San Sulpice, they discovered the, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, plot, you know, the, uh, so they made up this problem. Yeah, the plot, and they made, they made uh, Jesus Christ with the, with the burning heart and all that, you know. That. And he and and what is that? This is so ridiculous. I mean, you know, he, he wrote a whole essay on that, you know. Mm -hmm. But we, people love all these things, you know, the, Jesus Christ. You know. We lost uh, the church, lost it. You know, I mean, even the, the Vatican every so often. Uh, you know, uh, Francis Bacon tried to do his uh, crucifixion, but it's also twisted. <laughs> and, and the world did also a lot, you know. Yeah. And then the Vatican, you know, they were, they were buying this, but it's not, you could not have it in that Francis Bacon stations of the cross. And know. also the Pope, you remember? The yeah. of the Bacon it's of the very Pope difficult Francis. because there's imagery, the same with the imagery with the, with the Hindus. They have beautiful, beautiful Hindu art. But when the, Amer the British went, they introduced them to Victorian type of art. So they had this horrible, Victorian Krishnas, and it is terrible. I mean, we did, that's such magnificent art they had, you know. And how, I, I talked to all my, all these artists, how you can take that out? The same with the African artists. It took Picasso to realize it's just greatness there, but none of the African artists can. can I, I said to some of them, go and steal some of Picasso's ideas. <laughs> I mean, exactly. He stole your ideas, yeah. you know. <laughs> Yeah. The masks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they are yeah. still in the masks. Well, the whole, I mean, the whole, the whole modern movement in France was, you know, the first, the first of people like, you know, the art of uh, Tahiti, you know, the like people mm -hmm. like Matisse mm -hmm. and Africa. And they're very nice. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you, thank you for much. listening to a little. Just as a response to another artist.